from Appleton, Wisconsin. This is the Anderson Pens Podcast. Welcome to Anderson Pens Podcast, episode 433 for Thursday, March 31st, 2022. This week we have banter, news updates, my ink of the week. We have the Sailor Pro Gear Stellar Black Hole new safari pens from Lamy, two new Retro 51s, a contest winner, a new contest, plus something new from Wise Studio, and four new Shikiori inks that are coming soon. So, hey, Eric. Hey, yeah, yeah. What did the, uh, what did one monocle say to the other? Oh, that's, I have no idea. Let's get together and make a spectacle of ourselves. (laughs) That's a good one. I like that. that. Um, Why, Brian... Did the ancient philosopher build two parking spots for his boat? I have no idea. We'll never know. It's a paradox. (laughs) How are you today? I'm fantastic. Fantastic? Any reason for that? There's no reason not to be. That's right. And we're doing a podcast. That's fantastic. Uh, I don't think you've seen the location bumper that we used, and I don't think you've been to the place that is the location bumper. (laughs) It is the Whisk and Arrow on Richmond Avenue. I have never been there. I have never been inside. Okay. I have seen it from the outside. Uh, it is uh, owned and operated by Nay and her husband, Pat. It's a mom-and-pop small business. They make cakes, cookies, scones, and a bunch of other delicious stuff. And we took this location bumper specifically uh, by request, because Dave, the store manager, said, you know, you should go do the, the what is it called? Whisk and Arrow. <laughs> we're we're going to go there for lunch? Uh, if that's what you want for lunch, I, I, I could I totally make that a lunch. <laughs> we can we can make um, that happen. Uh, Dave says that uh, they get stuff from there quite often, and it's always been amazing. Great. So I think we probably should at least stop by. I don't have it written down, but their hours are kind of strange. Okay. It's like a half day Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and a half day Saturday, and that's it. Something like that. So we'll have to plan it. So like any good specialty and, yeah, shop. Yeah. Well, probably they're not open, but they're baking in there. Yeah. So. I do want to remind everyone about the Kennedys. It's coming up soon. Coming up at the end of April. Yes. And it's almost April. uh, Chicago, uh, Mike and Linda Kennedy will be uh, at the the Chicago location down in the Palmer House. Uh, Two days grinding nibs, uh, doing nib smoothing, uh, taking appointments, uh, doing repairs, all sorts of things. Um, It's going to be Saturday, uh, April 30th, 9.30 a.m. to 5 p.m., and they've decided they're going to come and do Sunday, so we're going to open early, uh, 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. And you'll be at I the, will you'll be, there. be there, yes, because I will be in on Thursday and Friday the day before, uh, Thursday the 28th and Friday the 29th, I will be at the Chicago Pen Show. That's right. The Chicago Pen Show is the end of April, 28th, yes. 29th, and these dates. It's back to its, its, its regular time when yeah, it always yeah, used to be the, you know, the, the first weekend in May. Um, but I, I will be there. Um, I will not have the usual setup. It will just be me walking around. Uh, so if you see me, just tap me on the shoulder. And Got any pans? <laughs> uh, if I can set up, I, I will have, uh, when, when uh, we have the Kennedys uh, in uh, AP Chicago, I will have some vintage Japanese pens with me. So if I can set them up at the show, uh, like on Thursday or something, I may have them with me. But in other words, I, I'm just going to be walking around. And if uh, people don't want to go to the show but still want to see you, they can go to Chicago, yes, yes. Uh, Anderson Penn, yeah. Chicago, uh, and they'll be doing nib grinds, but also some kind of repairs. Yeah, so Mike does Mike does most of the repairs, or does all the repairs, uh, so uh, they I don't know what they're going to have the capacity to do there, but they, they certainly can take something in, uh, and then, uh, of course, ship it back to you. If right, they, they, can, they can't get it done. Give there, you so. an estimate of charges, mm-hmm, and mm-hmm. Uh, I'm sure there are some things they can do. Right most there. most simple things, I'm yeah. sure, vacuumatics, lever fillers, uh, probably touchdowns, even snorkels, those kinds of things they probably can do right there. Cool, that'll be fun. So I might have to go there. I, I actually have. I've got one one pen already set aside for them to work on, and uh, oh, that's right. Uh, I can just give you pens. You you could just give them to me. Yeah. Take these down. Have but uh, they are they do have. Um, uh, a couple of rules I think they're going to have there. Only you can do two pens a day, but not at the same time. I think they're time. talking um, specifically about grinds because they grinds, take a little yes, while. Yeah. It's, it says one grind per appointment and a maximum of two appointments each day. Yeah. Just to give so, everybody a chance because, no, you know, normally their, their, their turnaround time is, what is it? It's, it's crazy. It's 20 weeks or something right. like that. Right. You, if, you if you're in, anywhere near Chicago and want something ground, this is a good place to go because yeah. they'll do it right in front of you. Um, so... 
I assume there's going to be quite a few people. Yeah, yeah. First, first come, first serve, of course. So, um, you know, and if you get in, I know they're going to have a sheet. Just uh, sign up right yeah, away and then, you know. It's kind of like take a number. Yeah, yeah. Take a number, go look at ink or something. Yeah, have fun. So, uh, Last week we talked about Live Long and Prosper Day. Did you live long and prosper? I, I'm still here. Okay. <laughs> still doing it. This week we're talking about something that's happening today. Okay. The 31st of March is World Backup Day. You knew that, right? No. <laughs> World Backup Day is a day for people these. to learn about the increasing role of data in our lives and the importance of regular backups. Very important. Yes. We've learned that. Yes. Uh, the website worldbackupday.com encourages people to take the following pledge. You ready? I solemnly swear to I back up my swear. important documents <laughs> and precious memories on March 31st. So today's the day. Okay. Uh, it also says that like 21% of people have never run a backup on anything. Wow. And that's, that's dangerous. Yeah. So happy World Backup Day. Back up your world. My, <gasps> I just made that up. Oh my God. YouTube. Stuff's going on on YouTube. Okay. Last Friday. We, finally? We, last Friday, finally. <laughs> we uh, published... Uh, Brian's top five under 200. Because I, I, I didn't screw up this time. So th this one's a long, long time in the making. Because I posted a pen that was $20 yeah, well, over well, the I mean, price point. We did have to make it twice. Because <laughs> as it got all the way, it started, got through you, got through me, and then wound up in post-production. And he said, wait a minute, how much is how this pen? How much is pen? this pen? Yeah. Um, so yeah, uh, you had to, there was one pen. You had to choose a different pen. You chose the same pen, different color. Uh, tomorrow, Friday, we're publishing Steph's top three under 25. I right. was there for that one. That's a good I, one. I confess I did not even, I don't know what those are, so I will be watching. Yeah, you should watch. Tomorrow. I'll send you a link. And then this Sunday, I said Sunday. This Sunday, Sunday yes. Something new on our YouTube channel. I'm calling it AP Sunday Brunch. Can you know have, why? Can we have coffee and... Uh, you can have anything you want, but no eating on camera. No eating on no camera. No eating on camera. Do you know why I'm calling it Sunday? Why brunch? are you calling it Sunday? Brunch? Because you never know what you're going to get, but you know it'll be good. Yes. And and in case you want a little preview, it's going to be you and I having a conversation about something pen specific. I think this this one we're going to talk about my Parker Fifty One. Okay. And you can show me how they come apart, mm -hmm. and uh, how to refill a Retro Fifty One refill with fountain penning. Very very popular request. Yeah. It, it, it's it's entirely doable, uh, and uh, relatively easy. Plus, uh, I think we'll start with uh, jokes. Let me a joke off. I, uh, Wait. I'm down. Okay. You try to make me laugh, I'll try to make you laugh. You get one point if you make you laugh? I, I don't know what the points are good for, but we'll, we'll, we'll do that. We'll do that. Points are made up and... <laughs> <laughs> Careful now. <laughs> that's, that's this Monday. That's this coming this Monday. This coming Monday, you and I are going to... Who's, what is that thing called? Who's Live Anyway. Who's Live Anyway, yeah. which is a take on Who's Live Anyway. Who's live anyway. And it's at a location bumper we used recently, the Performing, Performing Arts Center. Center, otherwise known as? The PAC. The PAC. Just down the street. Today is the last day. Last day of the uh, Faber-Castell sale, 20% uh, percent off all Faber-Castell uh, pens and bottle ink in stock. Um, and uh, then everything will go back to regular price. So we were hoping it wouldn't, but I think we got uh, word that it is. Yes. They've yes, decided so. not to continue. This, this was like a sale for them. Mm-hmm. Uh, and and uh, but I think they invited us to comment. Like, yeah, it was I, great. I would, Let's I keep it. Definitely, it definitely comment. comment. I think this was. I uh, you know we had a lot of people that said, okay, well, you know, I'm going to grab a pen before the end of the sale. But or ink, ink was flying. I, the out the ink, door. yeah. We're, I mean, we're almost almost out of several of the colors. So so, but today's it's the last day. Back, today is the last day. <clears throat> they usually do it. When do they usually do it? It's a November usually thing. Usually, you get a, a Black Friday. Yeah, yeah Kind yeah, of yeah. kind of sale. So, so the, the, this was. Uh, what they call an experiment, yep. and I guess they're taking comments to to see if <laughs> they're not going to listen to us. I can stand <laughs> right here and say they're not going to listen to us. They're going to do whatever they want to do. I will, I will give my opinion though. Yes, and you should. My ink of the week. Great. You are familiar with this. I am very familiar with this, and I forgot to bring the pen that had that ink in it. This today. is Caveco Sunrise Orange, and. Uh, Possibly my favorite orange. It's fantastic. It's a really, it's really lovely good. orange. This is the one I, I was saying, I need an orange for my orange pen. I want one that's not too dark, not too light, says orange, doesn't scream orange. This and Steph great. said, how about this one? Yeah, and it is exactly what I asked for. Yeah. Exactly. I don't know that I always want to use an orange. This is, I think it's a very nice autumn color. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, 
But she, she gave me exactly, she recommended exactly what I was asking yeah, for. She, she nailed it. This is a beautiful, beautiful orange. It's and usable, it's readable. Yes. I don't think Caveco inks get as much attention as they deserve. No. They, no. they, they have lovely colors, and I think there's only 10 of them. That's, so if you don't have like too many to choose yes, from, you don't yes. get overwhelmed. You have, you have solid choices. They, they and, change and the bottle. They change the bottle and they lower the price. Change the bottle, lower the price. So I mean, I mean how do you get any better than that? It's crazy. Yeah. It comes it comes in a box, but it's, I've taken it's a it much out of nicer box. nicer bottle too. Nice wide mouth on it, it's stable. Yeah, this is more usable, but I kind of like the shape you of the older like ones. The, the shape of the older ones, but they're gone. They're gone, and the ink is good. Uh, I called it a rich pumpkin orange that shades to a rusty sienna. Uh, it has nice shading, good flow, no feathering, a little bit of show through. The cleanup was really easy. Was it? Okay. Uh, and I judge this off my hand. It it. It was the easiest so far of all of them. I have not gone through my pen yet, so. To clean your pen, to clean, see. Yeah, yeah. I haven't run out yet. And it comes in the 50 milliliter bottle. It also comes in cartridges, six pack, and yep. three milliliter samples. And I highly recommend it. I like it. Why was the robot so tired after his road trip? He had a hard drive. Sailor has recently been saying very nice things about me. Did you know that? <laughs> Let me oh. read. Let me read. <laughs> Inspired by a phenomenon that creates widespread wonder and fascination. That's how they started. <laughs> yeah, that's how they started. <laughs> but of course, they weren't talking about me. I, I was disappointed when I read I thought, oh, they're talking about me. No, they're talking about the stellar black hole, is which has just arrived and is in my hand. It's and is gorgeous. Nice looking. Uh, I do like the sparkles. Even on the section. Even uh, on the section. Like on they the did a good too, job. Yep. It's the resin body and finial are space black with various sparkles to look like an explosion of extraterrestrial dust. The cap is a warm golden yellow with golden glitter to appear like stars across mm -hmm. the surface. Gold clip and trim, a bicolor 21 karat nib and extra fine fine, medium fine broad zoom and music. And the converter of course is included. As always. As yep. always. And beautiful, beautiful. Yeah, I like the, and of course it's got the new, the new uh, anchor design on the on the nib. I think they're all going to come yeah. like that now, yeah. right? It's, it's, yeah, it's pretty. It's a very pretty pen. It's a good looking pen. And I notice you have the extra fine in stock. Uh, I, I can, I can. I think I, I can have help it in you my out. Hand I can right help now. you out. I think this you is wanna, the extra. Part. You just want to transfer that to the pocket this week. Where's your credit card? Yeah, yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. Finials are nice. Yep. I think they did an excellent job. But of course, they always. That's very deep sparkles on there. It, it almost looks like the sky. Don't you think? <laughs> the, the night sky. Yes, yes, yeah. it does. Sorry. He's laughing at me. Brian. Yes. Just last week, we talked about two pens, Retro 51s. Mm -hmm. Do you remember them? I do. You liked at least one of them, and I, I liked do. at least yep. one of them. I have the one I liked right here. You have the one you like right yes. there. The Woodland Hummingbird and Flowers is what I have. You remember the name. Mine's the Raven. Steals the sun. And it's even better in real life. They're nice. They're nice. I, I like these acid etch uh, designs that they do. And this one in kind of a, a copper kind of a It has a texture, it. yes. Yep. Mm -hmm. a, this one does not have a texture. It's not etched mm -hmm. in any way. It's, it's just a design wrapped around the pen. But what a design. It's nice. It's a it's, beautiful I, I, design. Like it. I like it better than I did in the picture. Uh, it's I fun. do too. And it's I like fun. it in the picture. Yep. So uh, these are here and for sale uh, right now. You going to get one? I, I, I'm on the fence I, whether or not I need. I mean, you, you saw my part of my retro collection this morning accidentally. <laughs> accidentally so I don't know if I need. Uh, need? Who's talking yeah. about need here? Wand is what we're talking about. But it, it, it is pretty. It's got the, the hummingbirds and it's just, it's Let's very, very pretty pen. That did come out very nice, didn't it? Mm-hmm. Very nice. Very nice. Yeah, and I, they're individually I, numbered, too. They're, they're not limited always, editions, makes but they have, special. A, they have a number why. on them. Makes it special. And, and they write smoothly. Yes. That's what I like about them. Just wrote with it. i got to buy it now. Yeah. Um, I made a mistake earlier this week. I bet a whole bunch of people saw it. Uh, Maybe well, not everybody, but a whole bunch of people. The I, important I, people saw it. I, I think, I think uh, there's, there's a few of us to blame, and that's, that's okay. Yeah, well, what we did was we started selling the Lamy Safari strawberries and cream pens. 
Yes. Uh, and we put them in the mailer on Tuesday, and we sent it out to social media. We put the inventory in, and we said, come and buy these pens. And then Germany called and said, was denken Sie? And I said, oh, sorry. <laughs> Is that, was that what they said? Yeah. <laughs> what are you thinking? Um, and so we stopped selling. Yeah. Uh, because we're not allowed to actually sell these pens, which we have right here in front of us. Right here, yep. Uh, until tomorrow. Yes. So, uh, so stay tuned. Uh, they're very lovely. I did want to see both together because I think they go together. They're, they're very nice together. Yes. Very nice together. And in fact, uh, it was Chris LJ in the comments that said we should switch the cap. I've got the... Oh, you got the rollerball? Rollerball. There you go. Just buy one of each and switch the caps. Oh, then, that's nice. Yeah, yeah. that's lovely. Yeah. That's fun. I like I like the cream. I think it's it's really neat. It's got a, a matte, matte finish to it. And uh, you know what? Actually, it looks like cream. It's, it's, yeah. it's not white. It's a cream it's color. Like it's a very nice yep. cream color. Uh, matching clip, of course. Uh, fountain pen, rollerball, ballpoint. And these are the 2022 special editions. Yes. They, you just said that. Fountain pen, rollerball, ballpoint, mm -hmm. strawberry, cream. Everything matches. Everything match yes. on yours? Yeah. yeah, they're all, all the same. Right, the, the, the section, finial, finial section, the clip. Mm -hmm. They're all matchy-matchy. I like that. Um, extra fine, fine, medium, I suppose? Yes. Yeah. Uh, and you can probably switch the nibs out if you have your own yep. nibs. Yeah. Yep. yeah, super easy. Super easy to do that. And the fountain pens are coming with, uh, for, one right here. For, for a very limited time, uh, first uh, 25 each color, get a free leather uh, pen sleeve. To pen match. sleeve to match. That's for the fountain pen only. For the only. fountain pens only, yeah. Um, it comes with a cartridge, not with the Z28. That's correct. The Z28 yep. would be sold separately. but yep. And not for sale just yet. Tomorrow. 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 Uh, and if you sale. ordered it, we'll ship it tomorrow. So. Yeah, there were a few that ordered it. A few imagine. were very fast on the on the trigger. As they should be. Yeah. These are cool and very affordable. Um, so I may have to get one of each. Remember, I used to collect Safari. Did you? Oh, you don't remember that? No, okay, I don't remember those days. Uh, no, it was before. It was before days. B A P before A P before A P. Um, so uh, sorry, Lamming, we jumped the gun a little bit on that. What's brown and sounds like a bell? Dung. Uh, we had a contest last week. Okay. We didn't have a contest. We had a survey. A survey. Uh, but if you participated, you were entered into the random drawing for a $20 gift certificate. You win every week, Mr. Anderson. Just being here on the podcast, you are a winner. Last week's question uh, was very popular, mm -hmm. as in people wanted to answer this, and it was... Uh, gold trim versus not gold, anything not gold. So okay. that would be silver or ruthenium, ruthenium or, even yeah. rhodium, mm -hmm. something silvery. Um, what did I say? Gold, probably. You said gold. Probably said gold. You were right here on this camera saying, and you, you blame it on your vintage roots. Yeah. Because yeah. vintage pens just look better have, gold. Yeah. Okay. Look better. And you did, you said gold, and I said absolutely not gold. And I am in the majority. And it was. Quite a bit. It's, it's a landslide. It's a landslide. 32% of respondents said gold, and 68% said not gold. Okay. Um, many not people, surprised, actually. Many people, even those who have a preference, also said it depends on the pen. Mm -hmm. uh, for instance, this one, I would like it if it had uh, silver trim. I don't think it would look anywhere near as nice. But it looks nice with gold. Yes, this this mustardy color yep. would look would not look great. I don't think with silver, so it has to be has to be gold. So it depends on the pen. Uh, it was popular. Uh, um, even people who have a preference would also sometimes say, "But it depends on the pen." I prefer okay. silver. Depends on the pen. But I need to share this with manufacturers because they're always putting gold, and and I'm always wanting well, silver. Not always. Not always. There's a lot of a lot of pens you're not buying. That's true, and and I, I do sometimes make an exception. We'll get to that. <laughs> um, Marilyn Gardner, Marilyn Gardner made a comment this week uh, that was the best comment uh, of the week for, according to me. She says, "I prefer silver-colored trim on pens, but this is the winning, the winning quote: gold trim gives me a headache. Yeah, just gives me a headache. Hmm. I don't need it." Okay. Greg M says, "I prefer gold trim, but love rose gold trim." And yeah, that yeah, that I, I think nice. rose gold is probably even for me. If if I had a choice between gold and rose gold, I'd probably go yeah. rose gold. I am partial to black or ruthenium trim. Regardless, I insist the trim match the nib. Now, that could be a whole other question. That's a whole other question. That could be a whole other question. Because especially uh, when, you get into, when you get into the black-coated 
Sometimes yeah. the trim is not always the same. And... Gordon Blanchard came as close as possible uh, to saying, why not both? Uh, I have no preference on the trim color. To me, some pens look better with one or the other wow. trim. If we are talking about two identical pens in black, I would want one in each trim color. Very diplomatic. You go, Les. Yes. <laughs> you you, yes. you go. Yeah. Uh, Emily Guleff made a comment that strikes a tone with me because, as you know, I occasionally buy pens that have gold trim. Yes. Because I just have to. I can't believe it's happened at least twice now. Emily says, for me, it depends on the pen. If the whole pen makes my lizard brain go, gimme, 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 that's the pen I need. And yes, that happens to me. It just happened recently. <laughs> we have a winner. Okay. Drawn at random. All right. Um, it is Michael Swisher, Swisher, who says, definitely silver. Okay. Silver shows off the you just furniture pick the ones that agree with you, don't more you? clearly. No, I don't. It just happens to agree with me. Definitely silver. They mentioned, Michael, if they mention your name. Yeah, I didn't mention my name. You okay. said, no, no, my name's not here. I, I edited that out. <laughs> I'm with Eric. Uh, Michael, write to me, Eric, at AndersonPens.com, and we will take care of putting a $20 credit on your Anderson Pens account. I do want to mention one more comment. It is from Edward Stotts of New Zealand who asked, are you saying the Twisby, we're talking specifically about the swipe here, okay. the Twisby will use the international standard large bore cartridge. I don't know what an international, I tried to answer this question, but I think it came to light that this is an international standard, right? Yeah, short international. Short cartridge. international, and they have a long one. There, there, is, there is a long, but that few pens. Yeah, I think but. he's saying there's a large bore that I am unfamiliar with. Uh, I know Monteverdi makes uh, they make one called a mag magnum, and it's a, and it's a bit bigger, girthier. It's big girthier. A, a girthier. Okay, so maybe that's what it is. But so yeah. I just brought this is the one that comes with a swipe. Mm -hmm. So that is the girthy one for now. Yes. and it's quite a bit of a difference. It's substantially. So bigger, I've, yeah. I've 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 held them for Justin to shoot so that we can show. This is specifically for Edward because I don't think I answered the question very well, but maybe this will help. Um. I think I think for most modern pens, it's the the Twisby cartridges doesn't fit. But I uh, well, we've tried it in many. It doesn't fit. It, it doesn't fit anything here. Uh, yeah. I know there is some. There is somebody uh, was in the store over the weekend and mentioned that they were able to fit it in some new modern pen. I don't know what it was, okay. but um, when you see this for the first time, and today was the first time I actually looked at it's it. Big. It's huge. Yes. It's huge. So I don't know if that helps you, Edward, but I hope it does. Um, but yes, if the Twisby swipe fits this, it's going to fit that Monteverde, if that's the one we're talking about, the, yeah. The, yeah. whatever you called it. The the mag or Magnum or Magnum. Magnum, Magnum or something. That brings oh. us to next week's, or this week's contest okay. that we'll answer next week. And um, uh, I had this, but I, I've thought of a new one. So we'll save that for next time. Uh, <laughs> because I, I'm much more interested in this one. Okay. Uh, this is on the fly. Yeah. Well, no, it came up in a conversation I had with someone yesterday. I had forgotten it. I called this morning and said, what? what was I talking about yesterday? I don't remember. So right now it came back to me. I don't know how to word it, but I'll just work my way through it. Uh, how old does a pen have to be before it's vintage? Uh, where does vintage start? Parker 75. What year is that? Whenever the Parker 75 okay, Parker 75. Because I... Because uh, uh, the 75 had a long run, so... Uh, I heard um, many years ago people say pre-war is vintage. No, but you no. say, you, you've got pens that are from the 60s and 70s that you call vintage. Yes. And I call them pre-modern. I just wonder what people think. Um, and so that's the question this week, because I will put uh, before 1950, okay. for me, would be vintage. Well, keep in mind, 1970 was 50 years ago. Stop reminding me of that. <laughs> I'm um, reminded every day, <laughs> and and then then I'd but, have to I'd have to say pre-modern, and I'm not sure where modern started, but probably this last century, years, yeah, this century. So that years. that's what I would say, and I without having given it any thought, pre 1950 and before is vintage, 50 to mm -hmm. 2000 is pre-modern, and anything this century is it's modern. A really wide wide range. Yeah, yeah, it's easier to just say everything. Parker vintage. 75 and before. That's what we've always, in the, in the vintage gonna, community, we've always said if it's oh, really? 75 and before. Oh, really? So this is a rule in the vintage community. It's, it's vintage. And, and do you know when they were made? I, we'll look it up. We'll look it up. We'll look it up. So that's the question. To participate, because there will be a random drawing, if you comment here in YouTube telling us what you think vintage years are, 
Um, there will be a random drawing next week for a $20 gift certificate. Credit to your Anderson Pens account. And I'll report back next week to tell you what is officially vintage and what is not. Good enough? Good enough. All right. You ordered something new for the store, something yes. new that we're going to carry here at the store. I have only seen pictures of them. They are some of my favorite things, are single pen sleeves. These look nice. These like look them. nice. This, these are, of course, the Y Studio Classic Single Pen Pouch that are coming soon. Yes, yes. Um, they look nice. They're going to be here sometime around uh, before May. Before May. Uh, made of synthetic leather and available in black, gray, blue, caramel, and red. It's a fold-over style with a strap mm -hmm. closure that ensures your pen remains safely tucked away. You just found these one day and said, "Should I get some?" I said, "Yeah, yeah." They, Single they, pen sleeves are my favorite. They, they came in. They came in one of our one of our dealer newsletters, and I looked at them. I love the colors. I love the gray with the blue blue strap and the blue. Just you know, we have a lot of pen cases, but we've got a lot of brown and black. Right, these have colors. These they're have color. single they're pens. Fun. I like single pens. Yep. Um, and they're available, uh, they're on the site right now. You yes. have to sign up for back in stock notifications. These are affordable too because, yep. of course, they're synthetic yep. leather. Um, but uh, they look nice. Like they the they have a nice Y Studio kind of styling to them. And Plus, they have a little medallion on yep. them somewhere. Mm -hmm. I didn't find the information, but it is a little Y Studio medallion. Yes, yeah, with uh, the logo on it. Yeah, it looks cool. So I am looking I'm forward excited. to excited. They're going to be nice. Nice. Uh, Breath of fresh air. Uh, I am attracted to them because they're single pen and because of their price. Because I have mm -hmm. paid much more for single have pen you? cases. Much more. Much more. <laughs> um, you can talk about that because that's really cool. Uh, we have uh, coming soon four brand new Sailor Shiki Ori inks. These are the Sound of Rain inks to match the pens. So designed as a companion ink to the Sound of Rain fountain pens that Sailor released last year in 2021. These inks are named for the gentle sounds that rain makes as it falls. Uh, gentle rains of spring are expressed with the light teal color of shito shito, meaning silent and still. The rushing storms of summer can be found in the sweet blue of zaza, mirroring the sound of rushing water. The colors of autumn reflect in the smoky mauve color of harahara, or drizzle. And the cold pitter-patter of a brisk winter rain is captured in the icy lilac of Potsu Potsu, uh, if I pronounce those correctly. Uh, the four new colors uh, in each will be available in 20 milliliter bottles and the three cartridge pack and coming in late May. So quite some time before they're going to get here. Well, um, next month. Next month. Next month. <laughs> next month. We'll say next month. But I like the colors. I like yeah. the colors. And yeah. because they're shikiori, the cartridges come in that cute little the pack cute little of three. Package, that yep. you could, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. That's really cool. And I like the, the names. And they're supposed to go with the pens. Yes. The pens were from 2021. Yes. Uh, Which are, are still somewhat still, available. Still somewhat available. Yep. Um, they had those 21 karat nibs on the on the slim size. Yeah. Potsu Potsu is pitter patter. I'm going to have to work okay. that into my my vocabulary. Uh, sasa. Uh, sasa. The sound of rushing water. Okay. Sasa. We're, we're slowly learning Japanese. We'll, we'll be <laughs> fluent before you know it. Uh, I like these colors. We don't have them here. We've received pictures, and I'm sure Justin has shown you to shown them to you. Uh, I really like them. I can't wait. They look great. I can't wait. So, Shikiori are all nice. They're yes. all nice. Why don't you read that line? Thanks for joining us. Tune in next time for more talk about pens, ink, and paper. You can check us out on social media as Anderson Pens. Is there a store there in Chicago? There is a store in Chicago. You're going to find Lisa there. It's on the ground floor of the Palmer House Hilton, open seven days a week. Do they have a website? Chicago.AndersonPens.com. Fantastic. Please like this video, subscribe to our channel, and we will see you next time. Bye. Bye.